We have a client and says, man, I really have a problem. You think, you guys think you can solve it. It's the fact that they present the problem that sparks the concepts to be developed. A little spark in somebody's mind. And it may just be a little intricate part and you sketch it out. And what I do is I sketch it out and I take a picture and I send it to the shop. So the origination of our ideas come from kind of all walks of life, people from all walks of life. But we focus them into the hub of spoke, the spokes of a wheel, with spoke being in the, in the center of that wheel. We get things from oil and industry, we get things from uh, recycling, wastewater treatment, so on and so forth. And we implement all of those things into, into the hub of spoke. Here and in South Louisiana, we the axle, you know, and the spokes go out to everything. Growing up, you know, things break, you had to fix it. Actually starting with our bicycle, you know, bicycle would break. So we grab some tools and we start tearing it apart. You know, more and more breaks, you have to fix it. And that translates into what we do here because we believe we can do pretty much anything. If somebody asks me, man, what can we do to make this better? It's like, oh, well, we can do this and that, and you know, here you go. Can you build that? Oh yeah. We've been able to surpass a lot of the same things that exist by keeping it simple. It's simple to use, it's easy to understand. You put it in place and you forget about it, but it does its job, it's reliable. If you can find a way to keep it simple, there's less chance of failure. And me, I can't stand failure. I like it to be right, I like it to last. A downhole bi-directional barrier, it'll be V0 rated, which means it's gas tight. It has seven parts to it, 11 if you count the O-rings. We'll probably sell it for half the price of something that would be considered equivalent. It pays for itself, hand over fist. Just the ability to create something from nothing, all the way from the spark of the idea through the design element and come out with a product that is usable, I find that pretty interesting. If your customer wants it this good, well, I'm going to have it better than that. When he gets it, I want to see a smile on his face. You know, I like this. This is better. You know, it's just a few of us. And, and down in the, in the South, we, you know, we'd be considered mom and pop. You look around the shop and you go, man, how are they creating this new technology? How are they making these innovations in this shop? And you gotta pull the facade down and look at what's here. And when you take the different personalities, be us family or friends or, or colleagues or, or what have you, Everything just, just seems to jive.